the Newport 11 Baby by Toko coming up next on What's in the Box. Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and welcome to another episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box. And tonight we're going to look at this interesting model from Toko. It is a 1916 Newport 11 Baby. Now this airplane was shipped all around the world back in World War I, used mainly by the Allied nations and uh, to defeat the German scourge which was happening at the time in the air. So uh, these planes actually turned the tables on that German air superiority. Now let's go down to our table and take a look at what's in the box. And here we are back at our table where we're going to open the Toco Newport 11 baby. So let's do that. <laughs> now it's interesting, as I was searching up this model on the internet, I actually found out that Eastern Express has taken over this model. So that one might be more available than this one, I'm not too sure. Actually, if we look on the back of the box to begin with, they show the markings for the Russian pilot on this model kit. So, it's quite cool. There are some other options in here as well. And the pilot is Alexander Zazakov. So, you might want to do some research on him and see what his adventures were in World War I. Now, speaking of decals to start with, which is a change, I usually look at the instructions first, but here we have the French Newport by A View Charles, the old one. And there's the markings here for the Russian one. And this one, I found out, is for the Ukrainian version of this aircraft. And like I said in the intro, the Newport was sold all around the world to the Allies, the Allied world, and was often captured by German pilots as well. So here we are looking at the instructions, and you can see here in the center is the English, and there we have a parts breakdown. So I don't even have to show you the plastic. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, and it shows you here mounting your engine and your machine guns and this even has the little rockets that they were using back in the day which are non-directional you just had to point the airplane in the direction of something that you wanted to take down usually a balloon and then hit a electric switch and the rockets would fire off so as you can see there's quite a bit of detail into the instructions on this model and here are the paint schemes and callouts for the Russian ace. There's actually two Russian aces here. because There's the one with the knight and the crown and of course the skull and crossbones. And it tells you which pilot. That's Kazakov's Newport and down here is uh, Krutin's Newport. And there's the side for the French which here, George, George Gunnemir, and down here, U.A. Kransny, <clears throat> flown in February of 1919. So this was a post-war aircraft. Although World War I, oh, and then here's another French one here. Uh, pilot Chateauneuf Johnson, the Western Front, summer of 1917. And, oh, those are the La Priere missiles for shooting down balloons and other, other things that need missiles to shoot down. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the plastic. And I bought this model, actually, for myself at a model kit show. So, um, that's why you see this, this part in a Ziploc bag. But at any rate, 
Okay, now I've got gray plastic on a gray background. <laughs> okay, so here you can see the propeller and the machine guns. And these are the rockets they glue in individually. So it's quite, quite an interesting challenge to get them all in there. And then our top wing and the fuselage. See quite a bit of interesting rib detail in the wings. They're not just flat. And then they give you a little bit of the inside inside bracings there. So when you look down where the pilot is, you can see them. And there's really only two parts trees. This is of course one seventy second scale, so it is quite tiny. That's why the plastic ziplock is there. The little seat popped out. So unfortunately you do not get a pilot with this kit. So this is one where you can either find a pilot from another kit or you can use this as something in a hangar that's ready to go up. So yeah, quite a lot of nice detail. Nice detail on the engine. Don't know how well my camera can get in there. And we've got our bottom sesco wing and our, our rudders and there's a cowl for the front of the engine and on this one it was only a half cowl on the Newport 17 the cowl goes all the way around but of course that is a, a later airplane so that that concludes our look at the uh, Toko <laughs> Newport 11 baby well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at the Newport 11C Baby by Toko. So if you would like to make a small donation to our web channel, you can do that by going on to our YouTube homepage and look in the banner for the little Facebook PayPal icon and click there and you can follow the lead and do the rest. And if you would like to see some of our other What's in the Box models, please check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us here and click the notification button so that every time I make a video, you'll be the first one to know. And until next time, always remember to keep the sun in your back as you're coming in for an aerial attack.